Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Nokia's first ever algorithm world. It sounds good, doesn't it? An algorithm world would be one where diseases are diagnosed early, where the best person always gets the job, and where Amazon recommends the right book every single time. Algorithms are the closest we have to pure, perfect decision making. So naturally, everyone hates them. Well, not quite. But the debate about the ethics and application of algorithms isn't going away anytime soon. Google's own algorithm shows the emotion of the debate. Search for algorithm good or bad and the entire range of positions pops up straight away. Everything from algorithmophobia to the sooner we put an algorithm in charge of the world, the better for everyone. It seems strange that something that is logical and rational by nature can, can spark such an intense debate. And in fact, on both sides of the argument, the most helpful thing would be to just take a step back, breathe and look again at what an algorithm actually is. Last year, the Nokia Bell Labs alumnus Alfred Aho won the Turing Award for his work in fundamental algorithms and theory underlying programming languages. Aho's definition of an algorithm is a finite sequence of instructions, each of which has a clear meaning and can be performed with a finite amount of effort in a finite length of time. So simple, even basic. And it leads you to think that surely the whole debate is over the top. Before we get on to whether an algorithm should rule the world or not, perhaps we should just think about where algorithms can add the most value. Cleanly, clearly and without controversy. Nokia operates in a sector rich in potential for algorithms. In fact, not just, not just rich in potential, rich in applications that are already in use today. Let's take a moment to remember some of the influential and award-winning work on algorithms that has come out of Nokia and Nokia Bell Labs over the past century and beyond. The Hamming codes were revolutionary. They made possible not only the detection but also the automatic correction of an error in a single bit of information. And they have had applications from DRAM memory chips to satellite communication hardware. John Hopcroft created groundbreaking graph algorithms and other algorithms which helped store computer data more efficiently. The deep learning work done by Jan Li Khan and uh, Joshua Bengio laid the foundation for the spectacular AI machine learning we see today. And of course, Alfred Aho's accomplishments, which I already mentioned, established the bedrock ideas about algorithms, compilers and databases, which have been instrumental in the development of today's programming and software landscape. There have also been many other algorithms invented by our people, which have had a real impact on the way people live and work. For example, algorithms are present in audio codecs, which compress our voices and other sounds so they can be digitally transmitted over networks. Karmarkar's algorithm solved uh, linear programming problems, providing a major breakthrough for optimization problems across many industries. From creating investment portfolio mixes, to flight crew scheduling for airlines, to crude oil distribution and even long distance phone call routing. Shor's algorithm made it possible to calculate prime factors of a large number much more efficiently, changing the entire landscape for quantum computing and cybersecurity. Many other impact, impactful algorithms have emerged from Nokia over the decades. Just this summer, together with Vodafone and Google Cloud, we deployed a new machine learning algorithm to automatically detect and fix network problems before they impact call or connectivity quality. 
Vodafone estimates 80% of their mobile network issues will be automatically and quickly resolved by our anomaly detection service. And I'm delighted to say that the wheel of innovation is still turning faster than ever, so you will hear about some new algorithms today. Looking ahead, algorithms underpin many of our new products and services in access, in analytics and in automation. Algorithms are essential for 5G, 6G, IP and optical networks, AI, cybersecurity and many other fields. Nokia is a hub for algorithms, patent technologies and standards collaboration. And it's not just about what we create, but what we enable. Resource efficient agriculture, practically waste free manufacturing, zero accident mines. Algorithms help us to fulfill our purpose as a company, creating technology that helps the world act together. And the importance of algorithms is only going to grow. As software is baked in everywhere, smarter algorithms will allow sites, businesses and entire sectors to make progress on safety, efficiency and productivity. Self-organizing network software is helping our service provider customers manage the complexity of 5G networks while zero-touch automation delivers operational efficiencies, up to 80% more operational efficiency in one instance in the US. And business continuity and resilience will be enabled by our AVA, AI as a service platform, putting ultra-reliable, ultra ultra-secure networks within everyone's reach. So this is a big deal. And anyone, human or algorithm, can see that. And today there will be a lot to illustrate that fact. Insight from AT&T on AI-driven networks. DISH, T-Mobile and US Cellular on how service providers use algorithms. The voice of the regulators. And of course, plenty of representatives from Nokia who will share our perspective on what the future holds. The first of those is Jason Elliott, head of CSP Solutions and Ecosystem Marketing, who will talk about what we are seeing at an industry level. Thank you everyone, and Jason, over to you. <laughs>